All right, so here now we're moving on to opening up the Midnight Apple Watch Series 7 in the 45 millimeter variant. So let's go ahead and open this up. Of course, this is the replacement color for Space Gray. So that color is now unfortunately gone. So let's just go ahead and open this up. This one retails for $430. And just like I mentioned in the other videos, if you wanna get the cellular version, that's gonna be $100 more. If you get the 41 millimeter version, that's gonna be $30 less than this variant right here. But just like all the other watches, we get this black protective sleeve on it. All of the other ones had colored to their own watch cases as well, which is very nice. And uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I saved this one for last because I did get two of these by mistake. I got the Nike Apple Watch version of the Midnight and then the normal version of the Midnight. As far as differences go, you're gonna get a black box here with the Nike version and everything's gonna be basically themed to Nike itself. So let's go ahead and open this. So I can show you real quick just to what's inside here. So just all black, everything says Nike Apple Watch. You're gonna get the Nike Apple Watch band. And there you can see, you're also gonna get an exclusive watch face, which honestly, if you're gonna go for midnight, go for the Nike one, just because the watch face is actually kind of cool. And I'll show you that in one second because I do have it here all set up and everything to show you the watch face. This is the green one again. I keep grabbing the green one thinking it's this, the midnight, but it's not. It just looks just like it. I think you also get these special colors like the Nike one will have these special like neon colors that you can use, which is also very cool. Very sporty. This watch face also quite cool. If you like Nike, definitely go for it because it's the exact same price and you're just gonna get a couple of extra things. It's also gonna say like Nike on the back, which is kind of neat as well. But if you don't like that, of course, this is what you're gonna end up getting right here. It looks completely different to last year's Space Gray. Here you can see the difference right there, or at least I hope you can because it's gone. This was definitely gray and now this is definitely midnight, I guess. Some people have been talking about midnight looking slightly like blue. Mm, I personally don't see it, especially here. This is basically just black and the way that light gets reflected off it, you might think it looks like blue and it looks really good. It looks really classy and I actually think on the wrist because I've been playing around with the Nike version, it looks better than the graphite. Do I like the color? Or I mean, not than the graphite, than the space gray. Do I like the midnight color more than the space gray? No, but I do like the way that the Midnight color looks on the wrist more than the space gray. A little bit confusing, but definitely very important difference. Real quick, let's go ahead and open up the watch band that I came with. Probably just a standard graphite or black watch band here, sport band. So let's open this and check it out. All right, so here it is. And yep, it's just a all black sport band there. Basically gray, it's not really all that black here. You're gonna see there's quite a difference here on the band color. Yeah, it's kind of washed out gray. I guess it's technically black, it just looks like gray just because it's just not that deep. But there you go. You can see it right there. And you can kind of see the difference between the band itself and the midnight color. The midnight is very, very deep, but I think it looks really good. And of course it's gonna match every single band ex in existence because this color is just so, simple and uh, it doesn't pop or it doesn't have any weird shade of anything or anything. Very basic, classic, simple, black basically. Now one of your questions might be, well how does it look compared to the cool new green one that Apple's advertising? And actually not very different. They're very close to each other. You can see the difference there. And uh, of course the green has a tiny, tiny tint of green there, which you can kind of tell, not super noticeable. And again, let's go ahead and put the graphite next to the, I keep saying graphite for some reason, but of course it's just space gray. I'm gonna remove that and put it right there. So you have, if you had space gray last year, these are basically your options. If you wanna stay in the same kind of category or same kind of look that you had, those are your options, either green or graphite. I myself, I still don't know what I'm gonna get. Probably the midnight just because it's more standard. And um, I don't know if I'll get tired of that little green shade or not, or if the resale value is not gonna be as good. If you're curious into just leaving the space gray from previous years altogether, if you had a different color, 
here is the red next to the green and next to the midnight there you go and let's go ahead and throw in starlight right there and if i can kind of do this let's throw in the blue one right there so there you go those are all the apple watch series 7 aluminum colors for this year very nice colors all of them honestly there's no color that i dislike or anything like that so whatever color you choose i think that you're actually going to straight up just like it from the get-go Here's the size difference between the 41 millimeter and the 45 millimeter. You can see that right there. It's definitely a substantial difference when it's on the wrist. So let me go ahead and put it on real quick for you guys. And there you go. I put the wrong watch band on the small one, but it also shows you what happens if you put one of the watch bands on the smaller version. It still works. And if you put the small band on the bigger version, it's also going to just work the same way as well. But you can see the size difference. If you have slightly larger wrists, definitely spend the extra 30 bucks for the larger watch. It comes with a lot of pros, and uh, especially the fact that the screen is just gonna be bigger and easier to read. If you have a small wrist, definitely do not get the big one just because it's gonna be easier to read and stuff like that. Just increase the text size and use that because a big watch face on a small wrist, that's gonna be cumbersome for, ex uh, for activities, for anything, just keep it small and uh, try to match your wrist when you buy one of these watches. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully I can try to make a color comparison so you guys can see the watches a little bit better. But uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.